module one, we started to talk about logarithms and the way they work and why we use them. Um, in particular, uh, the notes um, for module one introducing logarithm of logarithms talked about how um, I can find the answer to something like 2 to the x equals 8. I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the third, which means x equals 3. However, if I have 2 to the x equals 10, there's no way for me to rewrite 10 um, as 2 to some power. And so mathematicians had to come up with a method um, and, and an inverse operation in order to find out what that x would be. So we rewrite um, 2 to the x equals 10 as log base 2 of 10 equals x. And part of the work we're going to do in this module is to figure out what that means, what that equals, um, and um, how it all works. So the first thing that we want to talk about is we want to talk about um, logs that are rep that represent a number that I can actually physically find on the number line. Um, so if we look at the example log base 2 of 8, so log base 2 of 8 is equivalent to 2 to some power equals 8, which we've just done up above here. So we know that log base 2 of 8 equals 3. And so I can place that on a number line. Um, however, um, something like um, log base 2, 10, it's like we saw up here, these are equivalent. Um, I don't know what that is exactly on a number line, but I can estimate this and say, since these are equivalent, 2 to the x equals 10, and I know that 2 to the third equals 8, and 2 to the fourth equals 16, that x is going to be between 3 and 4. And in fact, it's going to be closer to 3, since 10 is closer to 8 than to 16. 